Hi Pisces, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena, I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. This is general. I always ask for the strongest energies for the sign I'm reading for. Today it's for the beautiful Pisces. This is going to be good for all placements, whatever resonates best with you, sun, rising, moon, Venus. Whatever you click with the best. But let's see uh, the strongest energies, the spirit guides. What messages do you have today for the sign of Pisces? Strongest energies around the sign of Pisces. This reading is for. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Strongest energies around the sign of Pisces. Anything else? Thank you. Before I even get started, I do a lot of cleansing and pre-shuffling. I felt there was like a lot of in and out energy around you. I have the master under the deck and I have it with conditioning. <laughs> They're conditioning you for something. You're going through something right now, Pisces, because something in your life is about to change. And I have it with the fool. And that is basically taking a risk with something, starting over from transformation. Um, if you feel like you've been going through something recently, it's almost like I feel like your spirit guides is conditioning you for something, meaning they're building you to a place of strength, uh, more belief and trust in something. And it's with change, the wheel of fortune, we're rolling into Sagittarius season, that is Jupiter. And it's something you're about to take a risk with. It's something you know right now, I'm just gonna tell you is, they're conditioning you to have the strength and courage for something. Let's look at the cards I got. I have it with um, projections. I almost feel like the message with this card is be careful what you're trying to project. Everything that we project with our mind and our attitude is what we get back. A lot of people aren't aware of that. I have it with going with the flow, you know, just kind of staying above your body of emotion and just go with something right now because something is conditioning you because the wheel is about to turn and you're going to take a risk with it. I have it with we are the world, playfulness, and experiencing. So I just kind of feel like this is something right now that you're connected to. All the people in that you keep meeting, the people that you feel connected to, <clears throat> it's bringing you back into an energy of maybe I just need to be more playful. Maybe I just need to have more fun. You know, and I feel that the big energy around you is experiencing certain things because you're being conditioned for something to change in your life that you're gonna take a, a leap of faith with. I'm telling you, when I see master like this, I just want you to see like, like they're conditioning you, your teachers, your spirit guides, because they want something in your life to change, play out in your favor that you can take a leap of faith with and you have to be strong to go through this. Hmm. We'll look at your incoming in a moment. I am going to look at your recent past. Um, and then we'll roll at the crossing and then what's coming in for you. All right, let's use these. Okay. I have the Knight of Wands. I really don't know who I'm going to pick up. And as I had said earlier, I felt like there was a lot of in and out energy around you. The Knight of Wands is the hot pony of the tarot. A lot of in and out. Or maybe you feel people have been in and out of your life. But let's look. Recent past for my beautiful Pisces. Thank you. <laughs> Show me why these are here in their current. Hmm. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Recent past, just a little bit, for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. What else would you like to show me? Recent past for the sign of Pisces. Anything else? Recent past for Pisces. Thank you. Hmm. Four of Cups is under the deck. You know, the Four of Cups is a card of discontent, disillusionment, and it has to do with like, oh my goodness. Oh, they just switched in reverse. So I don't know the way it flew out of my hand. I just feel like what they're trying to tell me, because I go by how I feel, is that Recently in your past, there was things in your life that you started getting discontent and bored with and you were questioning yourself because it flipped out in reverse. I do have it with the two of cups. It's the things and people that you've been connected to with love. 
you started looking at him. You started feeling like, is this it? I have the Nine of Pentacles to my left. You guys, is this it? I have it with the world. That's the last major arcana. That's telling me that you've been through something to condition you to feel whole again. This is what you're going through right now. This is rolling right into your current energies. And I have it with the Queen of Cups sideways. Queen of Cups, this is the Queen of Forgiveness, the Queen of being open to love again. You've been on the fence about things and it has to do with your ultimate happiness and the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords are the people and things in your life that were deceptive with you. They tried to get away with something or you felt they tried to get away with something. It's like you came into an energy of feeling whole again to do with groundedness, your stability, things you want to master in life. But the Queen of Cups sideways is just telling me there's things in your life that you had a hard time releasing because of what's been done to you. They want you to project, you know, with a positive attitude. They want you to go with the flow. It's something is just being conditioned around you right now. I feel you're being guided because you're about to start some new chapters. I got the last major arcana, <clears throat> last major arcana and the zero around you right now things and people you're connected to just lesson little lessons because something's about to switch very 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 soon but i am going to look at the crossing we'll use these today all right if you're not dealing with anyone there is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming oh, i have the four of cups under the deck and they have the world with transformation hmm i never know what decks i'm going to choose the world Four of Cups, they started questioning, is this it? I'm starting to become discontent and bored with this, Pisces. I don't know what's going on. Uh, crossing energies, one more shuffle for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. Show me the strongest energies, please. Crossing energies. Thank you. My Pisces have been dealing with. Thank you, Spirit Guide. Strongest crossing energies. For the sign of Pisces. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Crossing energies for Pisces. Anything else, please? Hmm. I have the moon under the deck, Pisces. That is you. And I have it with the Queen of Swords. Wow. The queen is really looking at you. The queen of swords is Libra energy, but this queen is the queen of evaluation. You know, um, I just feel like it's somebody who's analyzing you right now. They're trying to figure you out. Yeah. Someone feels they've had a broken heart from you, that you walked away or somebody here like is emotionally not invested because they kept getting a broken heart. You know, is this who you've been dealing with if you've been dealing with somebody? And I have it with the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. Uh, that Six of Cups is someone they feel is a kindred spirit with them. You know, but there's Five of Wands is a card of combat, just a lot of passionate. Why can't we just be on the same page? They still have romantic feelings for you, Pisces, and they're hoping something will change and get to a higher level of commitment with you. I see but let's look at the cards the Empress three of Pentacles hmm anybody f oh I got some on my lap anybody fly I gotta look, look fly and I have it with the magician sideways whoever you've been dealing with feels like something can't be created between the two of you like there's they I just kind of feel like they want to get to a higher level with you. They're waiting for something to change. They've been trying to manifest something with you. Um, Seven of Pentacles, more earth energy, but I've been putting some work into this. Am I gonna see any fruits from my labor? Wait. Seven of Cups, two sevens, wow. Huh. Seven of Cups, like I said. Am I going to see any fruits from my labor? I got seven cups of love in front of me. I'm waiting. Do I, which one do I want to put some work into? Because I've been trying to manifest something here because I ha they have the Empress. And the Empress is showing up with the magician sideways. It's 
a beautiful energy, the Empress, but the Empress does not chase other people. The Empress sits back in her garden. She tends to her nurturing needs, things she loves, very beautiful energy. But I feel whoever you've been dealing with is just waiting for something to happen. You know, they are still have romantic feelings for you. They want something between the two of you to change. I don't know what it is. Maybe they did something to you because I see the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Cups sideways. So I don't know what happened. I don't know because that Queen of Swords, you know, um, that Queen of Swords can be the Ice Queen, meaning Pisces, you're right here with it. So that the Queen of Swords is definitely the, the Queen of intuitive, open, honest communication, evaluation. Not 100% sure about you. They're sitting back and waiting. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Right now you're going with the flow because right now you need to project some good things into life. You're, you're being conditioned because something in your life is about to change that you're gonna take a leap of faith with. I'm going to get some incoming energies for you right now. Hmm. I'm gonna use the psychic tarot cards. So it's gonna start rolling in in the next week to two weeks. Sacred chakras under the deck. The sacred chakra. Hmm. Like I feel, I feel like you're being true to you in the incoming energies. It's like an inner knowing. Something's, I feel something's about to play out. Let's see. Incoming energy, strongest, please, for Pisces. Thank you, spirit guides. What cards? Strongest energies for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? I'll leave me one card. I have the crown chakra. Wow, that is like you're going to get downloads, information. You guys, it's a seven. I, I feel like you're right in the transition period. You're going to have all these new awarenesses around you. Oh, I have obstacles and challenges. And they want you to look at the things in your life that have kept you in the shadow, the shadow, shadow side. It's the things that have kept you in areas of your life that have been obstacles. You always feel like they want you to stay in the light. And I feel that listen to this in information you're getting, trust it. You know, we don't trust enough. In the incoming energies, you're just gonna get a whole bunch of new downloads. Heart chakra, I'm gonna stop. I wanna get some cards. Um, who do I wanna use? You know, hold on, I do apologize, but I gotta look around. Um. Yeah, let's use the Rider Weight. Do I? I know you guys think I'm nuts. Oh, no, let's use the Celtic Cross Tarot cards. I like these cards. Eight of Wands. I really don't know. The Eight of Wands is something that's coming in, and it's going to come in fast out of nowhere. What is it? The Eight of Wands is always good. It's Sagittarius energy. We're rolling into Sagittarius season. Incoming energies, please. Thank you, Spirit. For the sign of Pisces, strongest incoming. Why are these oracles here? For the sign of Pisces, please. Thank you. Incoming energies. For the sign of Pisces, thank you. Anything else? You guys. Eight of Wands. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. That was just freaky. Something's flying in. I have judgment. That is a big major arcana, boy. Woo. All right. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a place of feeling like you're in a blindfold because you're, you're festering on some type of insecure thoughts or something that happened to you. They want to say, let it go. You got something good rolling in and I haven't even seen the card yet. Judgment is about really looking and judging situations in our life, letting it go so you can rebirth something new. It's like the, the basket's just about to go past the fence. I have it with the Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. Something's coming in for you. That's a lot of water energy. Um, where? Do, oh, these are... 
I'm so beautiful. It's like, where did those cards come from? You guys, this is all beautiful energy. This is the things and people that you're going to feel connected to with love. This is a love connection. It's with somebody you have a kindred spirit with. And I feel that someone's going to be giving you more love. Or you're going to be feeling like going after something with love. It could be a lot of things. Because something in your life is about to change. I have the tower. It's sideways. The tower sideways to my left is telling me that there's parts of you that need to go. There's parts of something that you built an old belief on from what happened to you. You built your tower. They're saying it's parts of that tower need to go because something wants to come in and connect with you with love. I have temperance. This is patience. Sagittarius energy. We're rolling into Sagittarius season. Blending. Knowing that everything is going to work out for you. Because I have it with the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of you're about to receive. I heard, I started hearing this song. Give a little bit. I don't know. Eight of Wands. It's beautiful. You guys. And I have it with the King of Water. That is the King of Love. That is being above the body of emotion to a higher commitment of love. Could be love with someone new. Maybe, you know, that, that's the king of love. It's like you're coming back into an energy of being above your body of emotion and balancing your heart and your mind. Whatever's coming in for you, I feel right now you're just going through some type of conditioning to get you out of the shadow side, to get you out of things that have pulled you in. Because the tower sideways is telling me that there's things that need to uh, there's just some things that just aren't serving you anymore. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's like that's not serving you anymore. Mm -mm. Nope. So they want to tell you that get rid of the old parts of you that you need to rebuild because your life is about to change and you're going to take a leap of faith with something. Just let you know. <laughs> that is beautiful. That's coming into the king of love power. Whether you want a connection with someone or not. But that's a higher commitment, you know, of things in your life that you have find balance with love and thought. It's beautiful. Spirit guides, a few messages from my beautiful Pisces today. I'm going to do one shuffle. I'm kind of a little jumpy. Two messages for Pisces. It always ties my reading together, you guys. Two cards. Two of the strongest messages. Thank you. For Pisces. If you can tell Pisces anything about this reading today. Mm, what else? I'm going to ask for one more. What else do you want to tell the sign of Pisces? Anything else about this reading today? Spirit guides? Well, I guess not. No, they're done. And they, they act like that. They're like, nope, we give you your two cards. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what they are. First card to my left. I have the two of Michael. Angel Michael is showing up. So here it is. It will all be better if you just make a decision to let something go so you can rebirth something new because your life's about to change. I threw that in there. Overanalyze a problem. Find a compromise. Find a compromise. I mean, I almost feel like right there. The two unicorns and the shadow side and the bright side. All right. Last card they gave you is the seven of Gabriel. Hmm. Seven. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Get back on your horse. Get back on that that horse. Like, look at these cards. It's there's so many different pictures in this this deck, but I got two unicorns and I got you riding it. All right. So that's a big message for certain people. And um, listen. Whatever you're going through is about to change. So just, you know, claim, claim your personal power. Yep. Get back on that horse. Find a compromise. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like and subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Pisces, you guys, for all your love and support. I am truly grateful and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.